Look at all these new cards. These are sick. Cast four. Oh! Hey everyone, welcome to another Pokemon card video with me. Today I'll be opening my first ever product from Pokemon's newest set, which is the Brilliant Stars Elite Trainer Box. And we'll be going after some gold cards, some rainbow rares, some trainer gallery cards, and of course the brand new V-Star card. So before we get started, please do consider subscribing to the channel. It really does help a lot. A big percentage of you guys aren't subscribed to the channel yet. Hi, how you doing? So if you haven't yet, leave a like on this video if you like this type of content. That's what the like is for. And I hope you consider subscribing to the channel. It really does help a lot please and thank you let's jump right into this i'm so excited all right once again we're at our setup here are the contents of the etb if you guys have seen elite trainer boxes before it's pretty much the same thing there is a sneak preview but let's get into ripping this open if you guys watched my unboxing video of these along with some other cool stuff definitely go check out that video after this one you guys will know that i am opening this the day that I received the ETB and the booster box from the Pokemon company Lazada shop. Pre-ordered these about two weeks ago. And for some reason it said it was gonna be shipped out from March two to three. So I wasn't expecting to receive it today, but I'm not complaining. We're opening Pokemon cards today. So here is the rule book. Here is the markers, the poison and burn markers. Ooh! Oh, this is the V-Star marker for when you activate the V-Star ability on Pokemon V-Star cards. Hopefully we get to pull one today. Here are some dice. Don't know if I'm feeling that brown or that caramel. That kind of made me hungry, but I guess it's all right. We open this up. We got the sleeves right there with Arceus. We got the code card for you guys. Here you go. Enjoy. Energy cards with the new design. Here's the dividers for the ETB. Here is the player guide that we will be looking into shortly. And last but not least, we have booster packs right here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I never get tired of holding new booster packs. Let's put these down real quick because like I mentioned, I wanted to look at this because I want to choose what are going to be my goal cards for the set so this is a very big set i'm not too sure how many cards there are but it's this like i said in the unboxing video after buying a booster box etb new shoes i'm now broke so i need to be smart with my money i want to choose three goal cards so one rainbow rare one v-star card which i felt was appropriate because it is the first set with v-star one alternate art which they also have in this set and one trainer gallery which is another new addition to this set which is basically character cards that we first saw in cosmic eclipse so i'm calling this set cosmic eclipse 2.0 you guys know me on the channel i love cosmic eclipse i'm still collecting it till this day and it's nice to have a new edition or a new set to collect that's more modern and more recent but anyways finally looking into the card book so here is the first card right there there is the charizard v star card so i guess it kind of replaces v max in a sense entei which i'm super excited for i love that legendary doggo they also have raikou in this one whimsicott which I don't understand why they chose that as one of the mascots for the set. And you know what? Let's just skip forward because I'm sure we're going to see these cards. And let's go right to... Here we go. These are all the ultra rares basically, right? So we have a full art Charizard. Here is the alternate art that I want. I'll put up a better picture on screen. I don't know. It's just so badass to see Charizard and Venusaur battling out together. It's not fair to Venusaur because obviously grass is weak to fire but if you think about it it's an homage to pokemon green and red which i believe were the first two games of pokemon to come out in japan here's another cool one that i really like the arceus alternate art right there my rainbow rare gold card and i guess would be also my v star gold card is arceus right there v star and last but not least ooh, we get a gold card too but i'm not actually a huge fan of gold cards so if i get a gold card i'm not gonna be mad at it but i'm not gonna put that down as one of my goals what i am going to put down is these cards of course just like in cosmos Big Eclipse, you got the trainer gallery cards or the character cards that other people like to call it. And I haven't seen all of them, so I want to choose one as my ultimate goal card. Oh, what if we go for a gold character card to make things interesting? That would be sick. You got the Urshifu's at the end. All of these are so cool. I think that's the decision made. When I pull the Charizard V alternate art, Arceus V star, and a gold trainer gallery Urshifu, whichever one, I will be done with the set. This just pretty much gives me a cap on buying product so I can focus on older sets or maybe whatever new set will be coming out in the future. Now that we have our goal, it is time Finally, to try and achieve those goals by 
opening these packs. So as always, tradition, Hingi Biaya asks for the blessings, get that lucky total dial belly rub, and Pikachu, a lucky fist bump for you. Here we go. First pack, first pack magic. I actually had a different video scheduled for today, which is another celebrations opening. I finally opened my Zacian Level X Deluxe Pin collection that was in my sealed collection and we got an awesome pull. So definitely look out for that video coming soon. Here's the code. I believe it all says redeem now so I can just show it to you guys. I won't look at the back though because that's what tells you whether or not there is a pull. One, two, three. Four. This should have been an energy, but this is actually a V star marker. I know that they just throw it in here and there just in case you don't have a V star marker, you could still use one. And first card is Hitmontop. So, yeah, I actually had a bunch of videos Magma Basin, which has a gold card. I believe it's the most common gold card, quote unquote, for common. We got a Crawdont. Yeah, I had a bunch of videos um lined up but since this came early i can't i can't just sit there and wait to open it look at all these new cards these are sick cast for oh what is it three two one eevee first character card our first pull of the day i gotta start counting the cards again huh so just to make sure that i don't just reveal the character card and three two one we got a Luxray. Still not bad for our first pack right there. Can we get the Charizard in a Charizard pack? Let's see. Speaking of which, it's possible to get the card which is also on the pack art as I've proven in the second half of my Cosmic Eclipse opening. Here is the code. Yeah, I believe all of them are redeemed. When it's white, there's no hit on the last slot. So one, two, three, four. It looks like we have an energy. So let's go for fire. Lightning, I actually wanted to say lightning. Here we go. We got Grottle, Barry, Gloria, Horpish, Golette, Chimeco, I believe, Chimchar, Mincino. This is a character card. Oh, okay, it's a reverse rare, Collapse Stadium, and three, two, one. We have a Mewtwo, sick. Next up, we have Arceus. Can we get that Arceus V-Star card? I know in the booster box, I'm pretty sure you're guaranteed one V-Star and a bunch of other hits. So it's going to be exciting to divide up that booster box into three separate videos. And one, two, three, four. Uh, fire again. Fighting. I did see Pokerev, if you guys are familiar here on YouTube, uh, open a booster box, get the Charizard V-Star regular, the Rainbow Arceus V-Star, and there was another one that he got. Another V-Star that I wasn't so sure of. So it's possible to get all three types of V-Stars in one box. So, I think I see something. Could be wrong. It could be just a hollow bleed from the, the reverse hollow, like I said. There's something there. Let's see. Three, two, one. Another Luxray going into a Whimsicott. Here is the code card for you guys. It's been all white so far. Let's get a hit. One, two, three, four. Got another guess the energy. Let's go for Psychic. Ooh, fire. Just when I stopped saying fire. Again, fire energy. Frogshore? Is that how you say that? I have no idea. We got Team Yell Cheer. Marnie's Pride. They have a Marnie trainer card in this. That's probably going to be my trainer card goal. Just like for Shiny Star V. We got Milkry. Carablast. Another Clefairy. Ruby. I can't tell how many cards there are. Three, two, one. Oh, well, we've got a sock and I hit my top reverse hollow. Will you be our first hit? Three, two, one. Hey, first hit of the day is a Lumineon V. I haven't seen this Pokemon before. I should really start playing the game. I would love to start Legends Arceus though. Ah, that was such a bad opening. History repeats itself. If it's a bad opening for a booster pack, that means there's a hit. One, two, three, four. Four. Here we go. I forgot to guess the energy. Psychic. Here, yay, I got one. Staravia. Floatzel. Hunting Gloves. Sneasel. Bidoof. Electabuzz. Chimeco. A Gibbo. Oops. We got another character card, a Riados. Sometimes I just forget that they have them. That's a nice card. Another addition to our trainer gallery. Three, 
to one, we have an ice cube. I don't know if I'm comparing it wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's possible to get a trainer gallery and a ultra rare in the last slot, but I'm not too sure. Maybe I'm just comparing it to my previous opening of Cosmic Eclipse. I'm surprised not a lot of people have mentioned that this is just like Cosmic Eclipse 2.0. So maybe we can kind of predict what the next set to come out is going to be, or at least be like. So maybe if it's Cosmic Eclipse, will we see another Hidden Fates 3.0? Let's go for water. Dang it. Still haven't got one. We got Executor. Friends in Galar. It's so nostalgic to see all the characters. That was the last game I played, I believe. Sword and Shield. We got a Weevil. A Burmy. Impidim. A Staryu. We got a Rylu. Got a Starly. This could be a trainer gallery again. Three, two, one. Ooh. <laughs> Close. We got a Rapid Strike Urshifu. If you were gold, I would have flipped out. But still a great card. And do we have a hit on the glass? Three, two, one. We got a Manaphy. This box has been a win for character cards, huh? One ultra rare so far. We got last two packs. Still, I'm pretty happy with the pull so far. And I'm so excited to open that booster box. My very first booster box ever. Maybe I can do a pull or no pull. Maybe I can open some with my family just for fun. Maybe some with Lynette. I saw that that was a black card. I looked at it by accident. So we're gonna get a pull in this one. We're gonna get a pull in this one. One, two, three, four. Guess the energy. Steel? Is that still a thing? Lightning. Uh, speaking of Pokerev, he just released a stream where he attempted to complete the whole set. I'm not too sure if he did because the stream was nine hours long and he was trying to complete the set in one stream. So I believe he had 13 booster boxes. Ooh, that's pretty. Tomokazu. No wonder the art was so familiar. I love that Farfetch. Yeah, so I think he opened 13 booster boxes. Is this still, I think this is it. Three, two, one. Uh, nope, it wasn't. We got a Grimer and then a Reverse Hollow Muck. Oh, look, they evolved, sweet. Yeah, so I don't know if he completed the set or not. If this is correct, this was the code card for this. We should have a hit here and hopefully it's an alternate art. Three, two, one. We got a Hollow by Barrel. Is that how you say that? I didn't even know Bidoof evolved. Last pack, last pack magic. It feels good. It feels thick. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing, but this pack feels like a thick boy. As this video comes to a close, be sure to look out for the next video, which will probably be uh, my opening with Lynette for our anniversary, our ninth anniversary. Can I get one hit today? Let's go for Leaf. Ooh, fighting. Zero out of eight for the Guess the Energy. Here we go. We have fighting energy. We got Clay Doll. Acerola's Premonition. Pot Helmet. I had to play on Pothead. Anyway, <laughs> this is going downhill. All right. Duskull, Sneasel, Corpish. How many cards is that? We still got more. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, I thought it was a Tomokazu. It's not. That's a sick art. We got a Spiritomb. I didn't even know this Pokemon existed. It's basically ghastly, but without a face. Is this a character card? Three, two, one. It is a Reverse Hollow Friends of Galar. And last card of the day. Do we have a hit? Three, two, one. One, we got a Lapras, non-holographic. I'm not gonna be mad at it, especially for my first opening because we got some awesome pulls. As you can see right here, we got a Bi-Barrel. I still can't pronounce you, Bi-Barrel, whichever one. We got a Lumineon V, our only ultra rare for this opening. We got a Riados Trainer Gallery. We got the Eevee Trainer Gallery and the Urshifu Rapid Strike trainer gallery that is it for this video guys what's your favorite card i think out of the three my favorite would have to be i think it's eevee especially with bill if you were gold hands down you would be my favorite but regardless i love all of these cards i can't wait to open more leave a comment down below i love conversing with you guys there follow me on instagram at albi peralta i'm a bit more personal there i post stories almost every day and i post there when i have a new youtube video out so that's one way to get notified other than of course subscribing to the channel guys it really does help a lot and check out the other videos on my channel as a better says, I have anything and everything in between on there. And that is it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys when I see ya. Bye, guys.